All right, thanks for tuning in to Leading Forecast, and we have uh, quite a bit of to to talk about today, so uh, let's get on over to the maps here. This is the current satellite, and you can see we do have uh, several little systems coming or that are on board here. Uh, first system and main system we're going to be watching is this one uh, down here to the southeast, your low pressure system sitting down here. We also have another system. Here's your low with this one, and a front kind of draped across the central portions of the United States. And uh, that was kind of the cause for some severe weather and some much-needed rain down across Texas and Oklahoma um, this weekend. So glad to see they got some rain. However, we're going to be talking about some flooding problems with some rain coming up, and we'll get to that in just a second. Here's the water vapor imagery, and uh, you can see those lows very, very pronounced on this uh, with the spin here and the spin coming up around here. And look at all this moisture associated with this southerly system and that's going to be a big time problem as we get into the northeast here over the next several days as uh, this area down through here is going to get some serious rain. Uh, let's go on over. This is the current Doppler radar and you can see showers and thunderstorms down across the southeast, some showers and rain going on up across the north as well as out across the western portion of the United States, um, even some scattered showers and thunderstorms down across the uh, south central United States as well. Going on over, this is a little closer look down across the southeast and a lot of moisture associated with this. And you can see um, all this rain wrapping around this low that's sitting uh, right into this area right now. And this low is eventually going to move up uh, to the northeast here. And that's going to be our focus over the next several days. Uh, going on over, current watches and warnings, not much going on. We do have a few flood advisories and watches um, across uh, some of the, uh, across the northern plains into South Dakota as well as down into the peninsula of Florida uh, for the rain that's going on down there. As far as severe weather, there is a bit of a slight risk right on the uh, Georgia and South Carolina coast. Um, that's going to be mainly for gusty winds and the potential for a few tornadoes down there today, um, but not expecting anything major. Tomorrow, sea text is out across the central plains, um, out across this area for gusty winds and some small hail. As we get into day three, a sea text comes out for this area up into here again for gusty winds and some small hail and probably as we get a little later on into the week we'll probably see a sea text I would say probably for this area up through here as we get into Thursday we'll just have to wait and see how that plays out getting on over to the forecast this is the GFS um, this is as we get later on today you can see all the showers and thunderstorms getting going across the southeast here's your low up here across Canada showers and showers maybe a few thunderstorms breaking out along that front that's straight down through here and then more moisture moving on uh, shore into the pack northwest. As we get into tomorrow, um, your low still sitting down here, your moisture still a lot of moisture associated with it. Um, showers and thunderstorms still breaking out along the front that's across the central portion of the United States. Again, uh, probably nothing severe. If there is anything severe, it's going to be down into this area here. And again, gusty winds and maybe some small hail. Then as we get into Wednesday, here's this system. This is what I've been talking about. The system that is down here eventually moves up to the northeast. And look at this rain. A lot of rain up across the northeastern portions of the United States from Pennsylvania towards New York, eventually up towards Maine. And we're already having uh, flooding problems up across the upstate New York um, into Pennsylvania and places like this. And, you know, some of these models looking at the European and the Digix and the GFS and a lot of these models indicating that we could see anywhere between two and six inches of rain um, over the next uh, several days by, by the beginning of the weekend I should say across Pennsylvania and up towards New York and that's just going to exacerbate the flooding up there it's going to be could be a problem and then as we get uh, this is still Wednesday afternoon showers and thunderstorms still breaking out across the Midwest um, but nothing too major then as we get into Thursday uh, most of your intense rain and moisture moving up towards Maine and then we do have this big low that's sitting over the top of the Great Lakes where showers and thunderstorms may develop under it so we'll just have to wait and see how that plays out um, but your big story is going to be the rain going on over to uh, the 500 millibar charts this is later on today you can see here's your low here that was responsible for kind of tracking up across uh, this portion of the country earlier um, or I should say rather late last week um, and that brought some severe weather and some much needed rain down across Texas and eventually now it's caught up in this trough and it's going to be moving, uh, continue to move off to the northeast and get out of here. And then here's your low down across Florida that's spreading the moisture in there. 
Uh, going into tomorrow, uh, trough builds across the central portion of the country. We do see a little bit of energy coming up the east coast or the eastern portion of the country through Ohio and PA tomorrow afternoon. Then as we get into Wednesday, trough starts to take a little bit of a negative tilt. And as we see that, we may see an enhanced uh, risk of severe weather, I think, as this gets a little bit, I won't say enhanced. Maybe that's a little bit too strong of a word. A better chance for severe weather um, just outside of this trough into this area as we get into Wednesday afternoon. Then as we get into Thursday, you can see the trough pushes off to the northeast. That's where we see a lot of rain start to surge up to the northeast, and we talked about those flooding problems earlier. Um, that's when we'll start to see those. Then as we get into, I'm skipping ahead a little bit, this is next Monday, a new trough starts to dig in, and there's a lot of energy coming in with this trough, so we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. Um, so that's all I have for the day. Uh, you can view this on swiftchaseteam.com or thedailyforecast.net. Have a good one.